I built a sales agency that has done over $35 million in sales for me and my clients. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a live sales recording where I closed a $15,000 deal in just 90 minutes. And by the end of this video, you'll learn exactly how I frame my call for a one call close, how I make sure that the only logical next step for my prospect is to buy my offer and how I uncovered the hidden desires for a prospect who seemed like he had it all. So make sure you watch till the end of this video, take some notes. Let's make some money. Good to see you. Where, where are you, uh, where are you located? Uh, Florida. Sure. Nice. Miami, Tampa. Uh, no, it's a, uh, just outside of Ocala. So mid, mid Florida. Central. Okay, mid Florida. Not the panhandle. No, no. <laughs> too hot there. Probably yeah. right? too many crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? I'm here in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. You you been up here? Uh no, just to Niagara Falls. I haven't been. Okay, yeah. that's that's pretty crazy to see to Niagara Falls. It's just like yeah. unlimited water flowing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, hey Mark, uh thanks for booking the call. Mm -hmm. Um the way that this call usually works is uh, Igor has like a very specific person he wants to bring on into the mentorship program. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have questions. I have questions. Ultimately, we both want to find out if it's going to be a good fit for both of us. Mm -hmm. And if it is, um, I'll get, if it is a good fit, I'll like offer you a spot inside the mentorship. If it's not, that's fine too. Uh, what we want to just avoid is like the middle ground where you're just going to think about it. I'd rather you say no to me or yes to me. And this way we both can like move, at least make a decision to move forward. Uh, mm -hmm. Does that sound fair? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I guess, like, why don't you get me up to speed? Uh, what was it about Igor's video and e-farming that made you even want to uh, take time out of your day to speak with us? Yeah, I, I just kind of been looking for something uh, you know, to create, generate uh, an income. Uh, as I uh, go through retirement, I'm in the midst of a, a buyout. I got about nine years left on my buyout, and then... Uh, really won't have much significantly coming in. So I wanted to really start uh, looking for something else to do, but also uh, kind of semi-retired as a result of that of that buyout. So uh, uh, I like to have a, a, you know, a flexible schedule. So you know, I can yeah. still do some of the things that I'm involved in, but, uh, uh, but uh, you know, I'm not shy to uh, any type of, uh, you know, doing any type of work, just, would like to do it where I can build it around some of the other things that I've got going on. So um, that's kind of where it's at. And I, and I came across, uh, you know, his, his video and, and some of the things that I'm looking at. And uh, uh, he, his part, uh, you know, kind of, uh, kind of struck me. I, I liked what he was saying and, you know, kind of how he was saying it uh, different than a lot of some of the other things that I've seen online. It's a lot of fluff and, and uh, uh, you know, kind of sensationalism, that type of thing. Uh, yeah. uh, the interviewer left left, left, left uh, a lot to be desired, but uh, you know, if you tune that out and uh, you know, and, and, and paid attention to listen to what he was saying, uh, yeah. you know, I kind of got to that. I, I like that where he was more to the point and exactly, uh, you know, this is what you need to do and uh, or what I've done, and you know, I'll show you how I've done it and. And uh, you kind of follow that. Uh, yeah, that sounded good. Uh, so that's initially, you know, and I've seen that, you know, I watched a couple other things, you know, beyond that, some of the, uh, the people that are in it, and that, you know, that, you know, uh, to be honest with you, it, you know, I, I lost some of my <laughs> excitement with, with some of the, the people that uh, uh, I saw on there in their interviews with the current people, but. Uh, I still want to see, you know, exactly, you know, what this is about. I, I'm not familiar with, you know, the 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 e-farming and, you know, and what's yeah. with that. Uh, yeah. But like I said, not shy to, you know, you know, putting the work in and doing stuff. But I like the residual uh, sounding effect of, of of income and that type of thing. But uh, yeah, just see what what this, I, I guess, what more of what this entails. And, and the different packages that I, you know, that I saw that he was offering, and what that, uh, how that's made up, and what makes sense, if any. Yeah. Okay, got it. So, right now you're going through a buyout. Uh, mm -hmm. You sold your business, I'm guessing. 
yeah, my portion, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, what what business were you in? I was in the uh, investment and benefits business. Mm, like a investment fund you had? No, not an investment fund. It was uh, it was just a, a consulting firm where we did um, small small to mid sized employer benefits where we interesting. We, yeah, we implemented the you know their their four hundred one k or four hundred three b investment plans and and yeah. health insurance then all that type of stuff. We we created a one point of contact system for those small to mid sized employers. So yeah, solid. How long were you working uh, in that industry for? Uh, about twenty years. Dang. How does it feel good to like sell your part of it, or do you feel like it was? Not yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the, you know, there's you know, some things I miss, but uh, uh, yeah, you know, it also uh, uh, allowed me to uh, a lot of golf, probably. Spend, yeah, spend some more time with the kids, and now we've got a couple grandkids and stuff like that. Hey, on, so, nice, yeah, there you go. That's good, cool. Okay, so you're going through a bio, you're kind of semi retired, so you appreciate your flexible like schedule, and mm-hmm. you want something that can give you that, but you're also not afraid to put in the work that it needs to, to get you generating the income that you want to. Uh, what, like, whatever business you do next, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be online to give you that flexibility, yeah? Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, you know, something, you know, related to that. I'm looking at this and then, uh, uh, you know, real estate, uh, um, something in a, either in the real estate environment itself or, uh, uh, whether that be uh, with uh, appraisals or mm. uh, or lead uh, lead and uh, uh, generations, uh, basically kind of you know selling yeah, lead, lead this that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's uh, marketing agencies are like pretty popular businesses, mm-hmm. um, especially if you're good at sales and client uh, fulfillment, mm-hmm. and you're able to like manage uh, a team. Uh, whereas this business is like complete opposite of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so this business is like it's particular. It works for specific types of people that are looking for a very specific like workload uh, and business experience. Versus like there's so many other businesses out there. Uh, so you you liked what Igor said. You liked like the the way that he just shows up, not fluff, not flashing his Lambo or whatever, but mm-hmm. just talking straight to the points. You mentioned that after watching some of our case studies, you actually got turned off about with it what's that uh just uh, i watched the one with the nurse and uh, uh i can't remember and then, uh, the older guy that uh I, I don't know just some of the things that they were saying uh, uh seemed a little bit uh, I, I guess contradictory to some of the things that he was he was saying mm. uh, so i'm not sure uh, from the standpoint of you know how they're set up i know you know they both i can i think we're kind of into this before they came across him uh mm. so i don't know how, you know how much of that was you know prior to him that you know that they were doing uh yeah. you know i know they said they liked the system and they you know became more successful because of it uh yeah. but just some of the things they were saying about uh, what like what specifically just so i just right now uh it just uh you know as they were as they got more into you know the the actual uh email addresses and and uh either putting them in and 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 then uh actually seeing you know uh, i guess you track then and see if you know those that aren't don't have any activity you know kind of yeah. pull, pulling them out and uh and then talking to other other uh, uh, in one section he was he was talking about um, uh, referring referring to the people online that you know either you know uh, scumbags or this or that and the other so coming across different things uh, uh, that you have to watch out for or uh, yeah. you know, things like that that I was like uh, <laughs> yeah I, you know and I know there's always you know when you know when Igor talk Igor's talking about stuff I'm sure it's all going to be uh you know more the the good stuff and not you know some of the nitty-gritty stuff that you have to deal with but uh, yeah, just some of the some of that type of stuff just yeah 
Yeah, no, that, that's that's fair. That makes sense. There's like nuances to every business, mm-hmm. um, and there's context that you don't understand because you need the context of the business. Mm-hmm. Uh, which sometimes when people are talking testimonies, they're very contextual, speaking about their experience. Right. Um. So it makes sense. So the what you said about the email cleaning stuff, that's like cleaning people's emails, making sure that's hitting the right inboxes and not going to spam or whatever. So having mm-hmm. like quality email e-farm is going to be a lot more valuable for you versus just having quantity. I was speaking to this lady uh, two, three weeks ago. She's like, hey, I have an email list with a million leads. Can I use this? I was like, okay, how much money are you making with it right now? She's like, 100 bucks, 200 bucks a week. I'm like, yeah, it's a shit email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, grabbed right. everything on the internet and it's obviously not going to work um and then regarding like uh, ship bags that you talked about in the testimonies yeah. Yeah. where we're in like the affiliate marketing space right and there are a lot of black hat affiliate marketers who do shady and scammy stuff and those are the people who are like fly by night types of people get rich quick types of people they go in take people's money and then bounce mm-hmm. um that's obviously something that you don't want to experience or even deal with like mm-hmm. any other industry they have that. Um, but yeah. Okay. Got it. So you're looking into online. You're looking to essentially not be fully retired. You want income because the business that you were doing, you're selling your portion of it. Mm-hmm. Um, how soon are you kind of looking to start and actually make a decision on something? I'm, I'm sure you've been researching for some time now. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I've begun that process. So, uh, you know, I'd like, I'd like to, you know, do something, uh, uh, or decide on, on, on something here within the next month or two to get started. So. Okay. So you got some time to kind of research mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, what have you like reviewed and researched just so I know like what in the online space, especially what's kind of catching your interest and why? Uh, well, I think the, uh, the list, uh, selling lists and, and leads uh, in the real estate environment has kind of uh, caught my attention at you know at this point. Um, so because I, I I like you know the real estate space in and of itself. You know I've, I've had a couple of rentals for years and and uh, you know, I've, I've uh, flipped the flipped the home and stuff like that before. So I've always liked kind of you know dabbling in that. So yeah. Um, I I like that space in general, but then uh, you know just the concept of uh, finding uh, lists and leads to to sell to uh, to other people in that real estate environment um, kind of gives you an inside track. Number one, to, you know, kind of stay affiliated with it, but then two, also uh, you know if, if if it is a, uh, a really good opportunity, if, you know, if I wanted to, I could you know take advantage of that myself. You know, that yeah. Time. So, um, and you know that again provides uh, you know flexibility as far as you know, yeah when, when you're doing the work and that type of thing. So, got it. Okay, no, that that all makes sense. And so I'll I'll tell you a little bit about like who I am, what my experience is, and what mm-hmm. I do. Um, I personally don't have an e farm myself, but I work with Igor to find the best fits for his program. Mm-hmm. Now the way that I work on these calls is like I literally want to do what's best for you to start a business regardless of what business it is and so i like i want to act as an advisor i've personally been in the online business space for the last seven years that's like all i know that's where i've made all of my money and i've done various different businesses myself um and what i found to be true is every single business actually works now it's just about finding what you will have the least resistance to Mm -hmm. Right, because the commitment part of you sticking to that business is going to be the most important part, um, and that's how you're going to be successful. So the main businesses out there, like is like Amazon, right? You can sell on Amazon. Uh, that business is very behind the scenes. You have to be really good at marketing, and you also have to depend on a product and its branding. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, like the challenges of that business is finding a product and then being branded so you're beating everyone else in the marketplace. Uh, and that's like competing with the entire world. Right? Right. Yeah. Then the other business model is like Airbnb, great real estate business model. Um, 
you're competing with everyone in the real estate game, but you need like a handful of properties and doing short term rentals for you to make like five to 10 grand a month uh, and then be able to manage that and automate that. It's a great, great business model. Mm -hmm. It can affect like uh, it can change based on the economy, uh, based on how many people are traveling, how much people are spending money and all that. Uh, and then restrictions like in like local areas and whatnot. And then the third business model that you're talking about is a, a marketing agency. Um, an agency business is a great startup startup business um, if you're committing to it being full time. Because uh, when you're getting clients and clients are paying two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars a month, mm -hmm. um, you're essentially working for that client, right? And you're running their lead, you're spending their money, you're driving them traffic, and you're the person that's giving them lead, but they're ultimately the ones that are closing the leads, right? Yeah. And it has to be like, if they're closing, then great, they're happy. If they're not closing, but you're technically doing the work, then you're going to get a talking to. Yeah. And then you get multiple clients, and then you need multiple team members for you to manage that. Uh, and you also have to be good at systems and operations to like build that agency agency up. And it's it's a great business model to get to like 10, 100K a month, but it will require you to be a great manager of people and client facing as well. Uh, it becomes a full-time job. That's actually what I started with initially. Yeah. Um, back in like 2019 with lawyers and dentists. Um, and very quickly, I realized that I don't want to be freaking client facing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's like a few other business models. Uh, affiliate marketing is a business model, it's similar to like lead generation, but uh, the affiliate side, you're actually building an asset first, whether it's like your social media following or your email list, and then you're just selling a product or service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there's two parts to it. There's one which is eFAR, which is what Igor does and what we teach. Then there's the other one, which is like content affiliate marketing, where you either create blog posts and emails yeah, and websites yeah. Yeah. Uh, or TikTok videos and Instagram, you know, and you sell products on like Amazon. Uh, I don't know if you're a TikToker, but no, <laughs> no, I'm not on any of that stuff. That was one of the other things I like about Igor is that you don't have to be on any of that because I'm not on any of that social media. Yeah. Stuff, so. There we go. So the way e-farming works and the business model that it's like the most relatable to is kind of the uh, it's the advertising business, not lead generation, but uh, kind of like a magazine subscription from back in the day. Mm -hmm. more subscribers that magazine had, the more businesses that would want to promote their business on that magazine. Obviously, the magazine is like niche focused, right? They have car magazines, they have bikini magazines, whatever. Right. So there's going to be a specific type of business model, business owner that's want to, going to want to advertise to their demographic. Same thing with email list. Okay, we help you build an e-farm and it's going to be in a niche. Everyone checks their emails. The thing about emails is no one controls the email platform. Right. So you own that asset, you control that, and there's no outside party that actually impacts your business. Because Facebook can change its algorithm, YouTube can change its algorithm, it can change the software that they use can change, but email, like the core concept of email, doesn't change. If you have a good email list and you have a good reputation, it's going to land in someone's inbox. So it's the quality of your email list is going to be what makes you the most money. Now, that's our asset. Right, the more emails that we have, the more money we can make from it. But you treat it like uh, you don't want to burn it. You know, if you don't just want to promote, promote, promote every single day and give them shitty products because they're gonna be like, oh, I don't want to subscribe to this business anymore. It's kind of like a newsletter business. Those businesses, uh, past few years have been booming very large because it's a a business owner can go in, a company can go in and utilize all that list, and they don't have to pay Google, they don't have to pay YouTube for advertising they actually do pay for performance. So there's no risk from the business side and there's no risk on your side. Uh, you just drive the traffic. If it converts, you get the commission. If it converts with the business, they're making sales. If it doesn't work, no one no one gets money, no one loses money. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So Igor has been doing this for the last 10 years um, and then he's helped a lot of students do the same thing. The type of business... Uh, the type of person this business is good for is someone who doesn't want to deal with products, doesn't want to do fulfillment, doesn't want to be client facing, doesn't want to be doing sales calls. Someone that can be behind the scenes and build the asset, which is emails, 
Uh, and obviously we're teaching you exactly how to do that with the highest converting templates, highest converting emails. But even when you promote other people's businesses and products, uh, Igor is showing you, teaching you how to find the right products. But on top of that, you're also getting access to his network of online entrepreneurs who have products and services that they want to promote. Uh, did you get to see his uh, like his podcast, who he interviews? Uh, not who he's interviewed yet, no. Okay, let me just quickly share my screen here. Um, uh, no. Russell Brunson? No. I heard he's some a, of the people mention their names, but I... He, yeah, he's a billionaire. Chris Voss, have you read his book? No. He has a, a best-selling book, number one best-selling uh, ex-FBI hostage negotiator. Great book for salespeople. Um, let's see, someone you might know. Um, Oh, you must know Robert. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, best number one best-selling book for finance: Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad, Billionaire as well. So ultimately, like he has a lot of successful entrepreneurs in his network, and uh, like they also know that Igor has uh, does e farming, and he has a community of e farmers. So. From a business owner's like they know if I go to Igor and I have a product or a service to promote, I can get advertising at zero upfront cost, zero risk, and I can go to his community to promote my product and service and make money from thin air, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're you're also getting access to his private network, which makes it work for you. Where instead of you being outside of our network, you're having to find business owners to try and promote on like public places and marketplaces. So. As long as you follow our system, which has been refined over the last 10 years and millions of dollars that Igor has made for himself and his students and follow that process, the chances of success become very high, which is why we also have, here, let me just share. We also have like a plus 600 um, reviews and 4.9 star rating. That's why we have such a good rating. Like we just get people the results that they're looking for, but completely done by us, making sure you're a good fit on these calls because mm. so the people that we're looking for is like num number one you obviously have to like want to actually achieve your goal um i don't probably have to tell you this but you've been in business you've done some hard things probably um people say they want a lot of things no mm. one actually does the hard thing to get get it um when you're inside of a mentorship program like actual mentorship coaching the hard thing's already done. It's just the action now that has to be done by you. And we have a very step-by-step -step training program. Let me just break it down. Um, nothing you have to do is something that you have to figure out on your own. We want to like hand feed you everything because then it leaves no error that you can make and like nothing that you can make mistakes on that making mistakes on. Um, and so like the training, the first 30 days, let me just click it. It's everything is step by step over the shoulder, and we're telling you exactly what to do on day one, on day two, on day three, da da da, all mm -hmm. the way to day 30. And the whole point of these this initial 30 days is actually for you to make your first thousand bucks. Uh, and the point of you following these instructions is yes, thousand bucks is cool, but even if you make like ten dollars initially. It, it proves a concept for you because now it's not like a question if you can do it or not. It's, okay, I can do it. I've set the system up to do it and now I just rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. so that's like how we teach, uh, very tactical. And then there's obviously like support and everything that you saw in the different packages. Um, but then the second person that we're looking for is someone who's actually coachable because if we have the information, are you going to then listen to it? Are you going to take action on it? Are you going to ask for help when you need it? If you're doing all these things, then the chances of success are very high. The only variable actually becomes you coming into our proven process. Will you do it or not? Yeah. Okay. So that's how like everything works in here. Uh, that's how what the business model is. That's how we uh, find people and like get them into our system. Um, ultimately, it comes down to like you making a decision whether you want to pursue this type of business. Or do you want to pursue, or is there uh, an option for you that's better than spending time and your money here? Mm -hmm. and that's like the decision that you have to make. Uh, so far, like based on what I'm talking about um, and what you've seen, 
uh, what you've researched. How how does this, like that sound? Is this something that you can see yourself doing something like this? Uh, like I said, I I I, I one I I'm a quick learner and 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 it's coachable. So I, I mean I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about uh, you know putting the work in. Uh, you know, to do that, uh, you know, as long as I you know, maintain some flexibility. So uh, yeah. none of that, none of that, uh, you know, would deter me. I, I, I'm just, uh, you know, at this point, I don't know enough about, uh, you know, the actual, you know, you, you know, putting together these emails and then, you know, what am I actually yeah. looking for? And, and I, you know, I just don't know, you know, the ins and outs of, of yeah, on, of a daily, on a daily basis, what you're, you know, what, what you're looking to do, and and you know what the specific objectives are, as far as uh, you know, gathering the emails, uh, yeah. you know, that were the best, you know, how how to go about doing that, and then taking those emails and then converting that into, you know, an income by, you know, putting a uh, whatever business niches is that you're looking for. Or, uh, yeah. I, I just don't know what that looks like. And you know how how uh, easy or difficult that is. I know you say you know you walk you through the steps and and you know that that's fine and that you know that that's all I would be looking for, asking for. Show me show me what to do and and, and how to do it. Uh, and, yeah. and you know and I'm just, if if that is the case and the, and the success comes, then you know I, you know. I, doesn't that doesn't worry me a bit or deter me a bit it's just a matter of you know, yeah. that i guess how real is that and that's the type of thing that you know you, i look at i look at these three different packages and i'm thinking you know well uh, you know what's the return on investment if you go with the platinum deal you know where you guys are one one side i'm thinking well if you guys are going to build it the, the first yeah. one, then this that and the other and and do those things uh you know what's the return on investment of that you do it uh, versus you know if i were to do it how long would that take me to do it and then uh you know at the same time i need to know how to do it uh, you know so uh, yeah it, it just a lot of uh, i guess questions for me at this point uh, yeah regarding that. yeah no the, those are all like obviously very valid concerns and the like the technical part is obviously taught inside of the program, but if I were to explain it to you, um, I'm sure you've gotten emails that have asked you to take some sort of action to purchase something, to buy something, to book a call or whatever, right? Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, like just in general, like there's some sales emails in your inbox. I, well, I, I got a lot of junk emails that, you know, that, to get in there no matter how much i unsubscribe you know it seems like they're always, they're always yeah. coming back so yeah. i i you know i think how do i get rid of these things you know but uh yeah uh but it's 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 not a it's not for a specific product it's you know whether it's i don't know if it's you know because i'm researching you know online businesses or what it's a lot of those types of yeah. things but then a lot of just off the wall stuff that you know just yeah, to me is not even relevant or permanent uh, yeah, whether it's the political stuff or you know this or that, all the junk that goes around about that. Uh, yeah, you know, but not not specific to you know look at look at this product or or you know look at that. I mean, sometimes they'll you know there'll be uh, you know, some type of uh, joint relief pain or something like that. You know, some 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 of the stuff like that. Uh, that's yeah. probably the only thing that I would relate to what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So the the method of it, like actually working, is there's two parts. There's one a landing page, uh, like a web page where someone clicks on uh, through the emails. So emails drive the traffic to the landing page, right? And then they they'll see the pitch, and then they can scroll down, click purchase, and that's when the commission is made or click the action that needs to be done, either purchase or book a call, and that's when like the conversion essentially happens. So that's what we're like that's the function of what our business can do. The pro yeah. products can range from low ticket products to high ticket products, digital products, physical products. We like to lean in more on the digital high ticket products so that we get the highest conversions. 
and typically it's like uh, for example there's like this $500 dog training course for people that have like a dog niche mm -hmm. or it could be uh, like different digital projects, which is like coaching products for specific coaches in the online business space. And so we'll build like a niche around that one topic and then promote specific businesses for that uh, specific niche. Uh, in terms of, again, the technical part, we're giving you like the email templates, we're giving you the landing page, uh, like highest converting landing, landing page setups, which are clicking and then installing. And then when we're doing these private promotions, what's actually happening is those businesses are actually providing us with the email templates and the web page templates because their marketing team has already done testing to figure out what is the highest converting ones. And we're, the, we're there to just to connect it into our system and drive our emails into that page. And so like, that's like, it's hard to obviously think about what that looks like because you've never done it, you've never mm -hmm. seen it. But that's like, if, if you understand web pages, you understand landing pages and email sequences, and that's essentially what's happening. You're, you're promoting uh, an event um, and you're following the campaign rules for emails and landing pages, and you're using the templates that we give you or the uh, partner gives you. Okay. Now, what that can lead to is, uh, so in the first 30 days, our goal is to help you make your first $1,000. And uh, it's also to get you to your first 1,000 email subscribers. Now, uh, thousand dollars is so that like uh, essentially like conversion rates happen. Let's say you have a thousand emails and ten of those people buy for a hundred bucks. That's a thousand bucks. So those like that's like how the analytics uh, end up looking. But over time, what happens is your email list grows, right? It goes thousand people, maybe two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. Um, I don't know if you saw in some of our other testimonies there. There's one student did ninety k in one week, um, and that actually happens over time. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight, obviously, but the asset is the email list was quality enough and had enough volume and they promoted a good product so that that, like that money could be generated. Uh, and so if he made 90 bucks or 90 K, uh, and whatever the commission was, that means he made that business owner, like mm -hmm. anywhere from quarter million to half a million dollars in one week. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's like the gist of the business model. Uh, again, there's no client facing, no product facing. You're focusing on just slowly and surely building your e-farm. That's why we call it e-farming as well. It's like the mentality is of a farmer who's not going to overfeed his crop. He's not going to you know, let it dry out. He's not going to pull the crops when it's not ready. It's like patient, you slowly keep building. And when you do pull and when you do promote, you make a really good income. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you, how are you obtaining these emails? How are you, as you, as you how are you, acquiring them yeah uh, so what's, what's the process the vetting process or are you just uh, i mean i guess yeah so there's like there's specific things that we do to make sure it's quality but uh you saw in the in the video like the advertising cost is around uh 300 to 500 bucks and so that's like money that we want to invest into building our e-farm uh, and having the software subscriptions and whatnot um so the way that we do it is and it's something that igor actually I guess, pioneered when he first started. We actually use other people's high quality lists and run an ad on their emails to get the niche that we want and we start building off of their emails. Um, and then you can also run some ads online to your landing page and get them to opt in and then double opt in so you have good quality and it, uh, all the emails land in the proper inbox. So that's a little bit of like technical jargon, but that's essentially how you start building your list. You leverage other people's existing lists uh, whether it's in the community or the people that we tell you to go, the marketplace that we tell you to go, that's that's how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens after the 30 days? I mean, that was one of the questions I had. You, know, you, you walk you through that. Oh. You, you do the 30 days and then what happens? Oh, yeah. So the 30 days is just like the initial 30 days. Uh, then we have the advanced e-farming course where now you know the fundamentals, but then it's a, the next part is actually growing that consistently. Uh, and getting it bigger and working with these uh, larger promotions. So there's like six different phases after the, uh, what do you call it, the first 30 days. Mm -hmm. And this is just like how to keep growing your business. Because in the fundamental 30 days, you're learning the core pieces, how to set the systems up, how to do the promotions, how to get the emails, and then how to sell something. But then after that, it's like, okay, how do you keep growing this bigger and bigger? And how do you get better partners uh, and then take it from there? Okay. 
when do you, I know you said you don't do this personally, but when do you uh, expect new people that come on and go through the program, uh, when do you expect for them to make money? Making decent, you know, decent money. Decent income, I'd say within six to eight months. And I'm talking about like five to 10K mm -hmm. uh, income within the first 30 days, but I just like say within the first 45, 60 days, just depends on if, if you're someone who's doing the 30 day challenge every single day, taking action um, or even sooner, because the videos are maybe like 15 minutes per day. Mm -hmm. And then the action takes maybe 30, 40 minutes a day, uh, depending on how tech savvy or not you are. Uh, and it's self-paced, so it doesn't mean you have to take 30 days. You can just knock out step after step. Yeah. Imagine it's ste 30 steps, you know? So that's what okay. it is. Yeah. Yeah, so good income, I would say, within the six, first six to eight months. Obviously, the variables are how much more time you put in, but also how much more money you can put in. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, what's that about? You know, I heard, the, you know, in some of, in a couple of those pieces, they were talking about, you know, uh, buying this and that uh, so what you're once you got everything set up you're actually uh you're you're buying and you said you know and it referenced three to five hundred a month what are you doing with that so it's what i talked about when you're promoting uh, on other people's lists and you're leveraging their list to make yours bigger okay yeah. so you're paying them for the promotion for the for the actual yeah. promotion on yeah. to to their email list yeah and then it's a form it's a form of advertising that's done within this industry okay all right so and that you're and you're talking of so what are your are there any other expenses outside of the, the that three to five hundred month advertising that you're talking about no and part of that expense is actually software costs so that's included in that number okay. apart from that there's no other costs it's just commission afterwards So six to eight months, as long as you're doing the things that you should be doing, five to 10 grand a month is what you're, you're pretty confident in. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we wouldn't have five-star reviews for 60 reviews mm -hmm. or 600 reviews. Yeah. What yeah. would you say the success rate is for those that you bring in? It's like a good analogy is, uh, are there failures in Harvard? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Why are there failures in Harvard? Usually, usually, you know, not applying yourself. Usually, yeah. So, yeah. Right. That's really. So, <laughs> yeah. so, same thing goes with here. Like, the concept is proven multiple times. Mm -hmm. Um, and just like anything, like going to the gym, there's going to be failures, and the main underlying factor is the one variable <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe fitness people some people have disease or whatever but mm -hmm. generally speaking uh, it's uh, it's up to you so and that's you know that like i said i you know i'm a, a fitness guy so I, I i go you know every day so that's part of my routine and you know yeah. and this would just become part of a a routine, uh, you know, where I build this in X amount of time a day. So, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, you know, uh, I'm interested as far as, uh, you know, the concept. Uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, the residual piece of it, because it sounds like, you know, you're collecting these emails, and then once you get them, now you're now you're 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 advertising. Uh, yeah. And hoping things come, but where is it, it? Seems like that's that's an ongoing thing. Uh, where does the residual piece come in? And I and how do you track that? Uh, you know, how do you how do you track how you you know when you're getting paid, how you're getting paid, what you know, yeah, what it is or what what it where so, stuffs come from. Yeah, luckily the way that this business is, everything is online, and so. As you know, probably with tracking things online, we have insane like points of tracking. Uh, and when a conversion happens, it's like the way that this industry of affiliate marketing works. Think of Amazon. Right? They have a lot of affiliate promoters and they have some unique links that they use that if a sale happens, it gets connected to that person and the payouts happen through the platform. 
Uh, so very similarly, there's like a platform that we use when we're doing promotions. Mm -hmm. And when we use our specific link, that link attributes that sale to us so that that commission can happen to us. Uh, so everything is tracking based, but like you said in the test or you heard in the testimony, sometimes when we're doing uh, promotions in our affiliate network of people, you're, you know, you're working with a potential business owner that wants to do a promotion. And there can be bad apples who don't pay you out on once you do a promotion because of whatever reason. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how it works. Everything is tracked, attributed. Uh, the data is there. The sales numbers are there. The commission numbers are there. And so you know exactly what goes to you. You know exactly what goes to the business owner. Okay. What other uh, what other uh, pitfalls or downsides do you are you aware of, or that uh, you've heard people either complain about, or or they're not so fond of? As far as to, to be honest, um, like we've seen all different types of people make this work, like people with no technical background. Uh, I don't know if you saw some like of the students um, and that's because like the process is very not sheltered, but like it is sort of sheltered because a lot of the external issues that come is when you're working with physical products, you're working with clientele, you're doing sales calls. But when it's a system, the system is like removing a lot of that. And I guess it could be like, um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like the the negatives, I don't want to sound biased or whatever, but the negatives aren't that negative. Okay. What's a what's a what's a a typical sales call look like, and what is? Oh, they, here you don't even do sales calls. Uh, so there's like platforms, public platforms, plat private platforms that you just already know. These are businesses that are already. Uh, listed on these on these marketplaces where hey these are the products these are the commissions and these are the links that you should use and then you go through that software you click the link you generate your own uh, your own uh, unique link and now you can start promoting these are the assets that you use and then you put a plug it into your email marketing system and like sales calls don't even have to happen so that's like the public marketplace where it's already set for these things to happen mm -hmm. and then the the private networks. Uh, it's either going to be through email, uh, Igor's like emails in the in the mentorship. Like, hey, there's a massive promotion happening, and these are all the assets uh, used uh, that you want to use to promote this list. Make sure it's everything's connected uh, because it's like happening to the network. Or let's say you do go out on your own to then find a promotion partner. Then it's mainly emails. Then it's like Zoom calls, and they they will look at your like stats, your analytics of like, hey, okay, let me see what you're listed, what the demographic is, uh, what are some previous sales that you've made in the past what are those numbers what was the dollar per lead number meaning per sale over total leads what was that number and then they get like an idea of how quality your email list is and then you're they'll say either yes or no I'm like all right cool okay what is this uh massive bonus bundle worth 85 now what, what what is that uh so reference to? this is this is all of the like assets that Douglas has, I mean, uh, Igor has used uh, to do some like over his last 10 years. These are the like email sequences, the templates, some of the promotions that he ran, the uh, landing, temp, uh, landing pages that he used that were highly converting. So those are all the assets that, uh, that he's giving you like one click copy, uh, swipe copies for. And then on top of that, there's like other lessons, like he's done private trainings um, where like he did it at an event or something. So there's knowledge, more knowledge-based assets there as well. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess we get to the the uh, the money part. What, what, are you, yeah. what, what are they asking for the for the yeah. each one? So before the investment, like Mark, is this? based on like you potentially doing real estate doing lead gen selling marketing going back into the uh, the real estate industry uh, how does this model compare to uh, those other two models and why would you choose this over over those uh well i you know at this point i i just don't like i said i i'm familiar with you know so 
yeah. some of the some of the ins and outs of the real estate. For this I, I just am not. So I couldn't I couldn't give you uh, a, you know a, an accurate assessment mm. of of you know is it this or that because yeah. I just don't know this uh, well enough. Uh, yeah. But like I said, it, it you know if 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 what you're saying and you were saying is you you know all I, all I have to do is is do the do these thirty steps and and yeah. uh, <clears throat> and learn what that takes and then understand you know how I need to go about this uh, you know from a from a simplicity standpoint it sounds like yeah. you know this is this would be something that you know it, it wouldn't be as cumbersome as as some of the real estate things that I'm talking about uh, yeah. and and it, and if if it generates enough revenue then uh, you know why why not go that route uh, but I, like I said I just I just won't know until I get into it and, and if, but and I guess if 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 the revenue is there then you know and and if it's easier hey that, that that's 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 all the better um, yeah so but I don't I just don't know enough about the technical yeah. aspect of yeah no that's so what you're saying is based on everything you that you've heard uh, me talk about and Igor talk about mm -hmm. Uh, in the resources that you've watched, it makes logical sense. Yeah. But the only concern is like you can't like visualize and see exactly what that looks like right now. Right. Versus yeah. the other business models, you can because maybe you've done it or it's just not as new. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with. It. Yes. Okay. Uh, but in terms of like the business model itself, like those you would actually not be leading more towards just because of the it requires a different level of effort yeah yeah okay. uh that that's honestly fine mark based on like what we've talked about and what i believe you can bring to the table i don't think you would be like the harvard student who just fails yeah. <laughs> at least i hope not you know yeah. that's my hope um i would like to bring you on board if if you would want to uh and i'll talk about the investment now okay 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 so since you said uh, you watched the video, you you gave me the farming with Igor code. We actually do offer a one-time uh, uh, scholarship, so it's like a discount for people that take action faster. Uh, and it's like a thousand bucks off the retail prices. Uh, the platinum is sixteen k, the gold is ten k, and the silver is seven uh, k. So one k off all of those. So the 16k, 10k, and 7k. And 7k, and that would be one off of each of those if I did it. Okay. One off of each. The main thing with all of these programs, uh, Mark, is they're all like what I was sh showing you. They're all you all get that all the templates, bonuses worth 85k. You get that. You get the fundamental business that you need to actually succeed. Mm -hmm. The only difference is how much one-on-one -on -one you get in gold. And obviously, then how much work we actually do for you in Platinum, right? So I, I guess is that uh, how how much how long would it take me to to put together that uh, the first e farm the yeah the, the uh, thirty days thirty day challenge that's the thirty day that's yeah. thirty day so 30 you days. so you so you you're paying basically six k extra to, to kind of speed that. 30 day process out. Yeah. So you're, you're kind of up and running. Yeah. Um, for, for, and you're talking about platinum mainly, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. I'm, I'm just talking about the difference between the, the gold versus. For, for platinum, because we're doing it for you, what's essentially happening is you'll still learn, right? You'll still go through the 30 days, but we're doing it for you. So the, the biggest roadblock for people is actually being achieved, like guaranteed the outcome. Mm -hmm. Um, and then on top of that, you're still getting mentorship for 90 days afterwards as well. So there's like a lot of support that's, that you're being like given um, so that your your chances of success are much higher and the speed of it. Uh, it's not going to be like five times faster. It's done within a week, but it'll be 
like the the at least it's being done within the the thirty day mark. So that's like the main part. What would be, uh, uh, you know, I mean, at, at the end of the 30 days, you, you, you have that, and that's the 30 day challenge is that is the, the uh, first e farm. How, and that's a thousand? Is that what that, that is? Yeah. So, here, let me just show you here. Um, so, your, like, we build your e farm, we set up the pages that are going to convert. Uh, we set up the email sequences for follow-up so we get more conversions. We'll actually also pick the product that you should promote, the same product mm -hmm. that Igor is promoting. And we build your tech stack and we get you to your first thousand subscribers as well. So like this is majority of the work, right? Um, and then you're getting uh, an e-farm coach for 90 days who's doing six figures with this business right now specifically trained by Igor and his his training. So he knows exactly what you're going to be going through because he's done it himself. Um, and you have access to them, like, I want to say unlimited, but just to like, so you're not messaging him at midnight, right. like yeah. business yeah. hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then on top of that, there's still like weekly calls with Igor, there's phone and email support and all of that. So Platinum is for someone who like wants to get, I don't want to say a guarantee because nothing in life is guaranteed, but as close to a guarantee and success as fast as possible, mm -hmm. especially because you're making us do it. And there's no doubt that we're not going to, we're not, not going to do it. Right. Yeah. And then at the same time during this 30 days, I'm also building that and doing that myself. And this is so that like you're not handicapped, right? You still want to go through the lessons, mm -hmm. uh, but you're not just you're not gonna do the imp initial implementation of setting things up. This way, you learn that once the system is there, you know how to actually use the system, and then you have the coach working with you to guide you if you have any other questions afterwards. Mm -hmm. Your estimation, six to eight months, should be consistently five to ten grand a month. Is if I'm if I'm doing. If you're holding your end of the bargain, yeah. yeah. How much of that is residual versus? So, the way that like the residual aspect works is you're essentially doing like promotions on it depends on what cadence you're doing you could do bi-weekly so like once every two weeks or you could do weekly that's kind of like the place where you can be healthy enough where you're not squeezing the farm but you're also building value as well mm -hmm. uh, so that's how like the residual aspect works and then you're actually building like a calendar of promotions of what you're going to be doing and so you can get to a point where your calendar is fully filled up for promotions that you've already set in place for your e-farm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And what is your, what is the timeline? Are you are you uh, expecting a decision right now for this, or what? Is, or do you have a, a, a timeline as far as decision? Uh, most people make the decision um, on the call, mm -hmm. but it depends on what you need. Like, what do you need if you were to take more time? Uh, I guess is there any is there anything uh, on here that I could look at as far as some of that? Uh, uh, well, I guess I could look at his at his uh, interviews, but uh, just to see exactly what that. Is say yeah. here, but is there any type of uh, I see what's your interface or user that that I yeah. can see that's an action or I, I see what you're saying. It's like oh. you're it comes back to like that a little bit of a uncertainty of you not like being able to physically see it. Yeah. Um if I'm being like transparent, that is the risk that you're taking. Mm -hmm. And it's based off of the maybe like the intuition and feeling that you're having about everything that we've talked about and shown you so far. 
Um, Because at at the end of the day, like there won't be a time where you know exactly what it looks like until you're actually doing it. Yeah. Who who is uh, who would you say is the biggest competitor uh, for this? Yeah. Like the like for you, if you started this, what's your competition? Yeah. Uh, There's no competition because everyone wants to sell their services. Yeah. Like you actually have the the upper hand, you have the leverage, which is the asset of e e farms. Mm-hmm. You're not like competing for you know what I mean? So I I guess the the, the next as far as my brain goes is you know, and I know you know he, he touched on it a little bit, but at the same time, you know, if Igor was making, you know, enough yeah. money to to yeah you know, to do this uh, why is why is he going to the extent that he's going to with this mentorship program yeah you know, and i know he's touched on you know giving back because he so no, no. in the rate good, good in question the, like why doesn't he keep it a secret essentially right yeah not a, yeah not only keep it a secret but then you know why is he bringing on you know continuing to bring on more and more people and training them how to do it i mean obviously <laughs> Obviously, he's making money from this. So is he making more money from this than he is the actual farming? Is he even doing that anymore? You know, I guess that's uh, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Yeah. He, so good question. And it's a valid question. And typically, it's like if you're making from something, why would you add more competition to it? Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons, obviously, there's no added competition. But when you look at when someone is okay, let's look at exactly your situation, right? Mm-hmm. Selling this, yes, of course he makes money from it. The only time he keeps making money from it if the business actually works, like it's a valuable thing in the marketplace. Otherwise, people will call him a scam. His revenues go down. He was shut down, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not an easy business to run, but it is easy if it's a really good model and people are successful. Um, now, the second part is if he makes money, great. But then if you make money, then it adds like a network effect where everyone is like, yo, working with Igor, like his reputation increases in this marketplace. Mm-hmm. If his reputation increases, Igor gets to make more money because his network increases, which is why his podcast is super valuable. And so when you're doing a good business, when you're helping people, when you're growing your own like personal net, uh, reputation and brand, you just have way more opportunities. When does, when does the economies of scale step in there? You know, you got how many people in this, in his program, let alone who, uh, however many people are doing outside of this on their own or with other, you know, yeah. other programs, this, that, and the other. Where, where at some point, the economies of scale have to. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Even, f- even, I think, even like just getting, trying to like figure that part out, <laughs> nothing you and I have to worry about. But let's say we were to talk about economies of scale. Um, America has millions of people. Like it doesn't even make sense for us. Um, like 60 million businesses. Uh, there's the marketplace is massive, like insanely massive. These platforms, when we're competing with advertising platforms, they make trillions and total trillions of dollars. We're just trying to make a buck here, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I but I understand your lines of questions. You yeah. know, it's like there's obviously a lot of uncertainty. It's a investment. It's something that's risky. Uh, my intuition, based on me speaking with you, is you you've been experienced enough to know when stuff is real. Uh, you know when uh, stuff is fake, um, and hopefully you can tell who's genuine and who's not. And the rest is still risk because it's business at the end of the day yeah so what are you doing i said you're not you're not doing e-farming what exactly are you doing you're doing this my part. business is uh i run like a agency where i help people like igor uh, find the right fits for their program uh, so i work with a few other people like igor and it's something that makes sense for me because i've been in this space and uh, all that What's his, what, how many, how many people are working for Igor now at this point? 
Igor has a pretty small team. Like his e-farming business doesn't need a team. Uh, his coaching business needs a team because there's people in there. Uh, but it's like less than five people. What what changes in the uh, uh, obviously technology space is always changing, but what could change in this business that would negatively affect e farming? Uh, you know, in the, in the years to come, how could this how could this be affected, and and is this something that could be? Uh, Worst case scenario, eliminate or severely affect. <laughs> world, the world shuts down. Global economy, no one's spending money online. There's no internet. Those are like worst case. But like, yeah. kind of let, let's kind of bring come back to where we actually should be because I'm sure there's risks, um, but it's not like Igor has been doing this for ten plus years, right? Ten yeah. years, let's just say. And in these last 10 years, the internet world has changed a lot. And it's advanced forward. It's made it easier, more systematic. And there's more people spending money online now. So it's actually improved the business. Mm -hmm. With the adage of AI, um, it'll, like, it'll probably make it easier for us too. And more people will start spending more money online like they have been for the last 10 years. So is this something that is actually shrinking economy? Is it a growing economy? And if you're in a shrinking economy, you actually feel it every single day. Mm -hmm. You feel the stress, you feel the competition, you feel the anxiety, you see people getting backstabbed and all that versus in a growing economy, it's like things are very different. You've, you've probably been through a few you know, business cycles. Oh yeah. And coming back to me, like the reason Igor works with me is because you and I can have such a good conversation. You can have a great experience. Um, and it reflects in Igor's brand and who he works with and how he works with people. At what point did he decide to, to go this route? Coaching? Wait, yeah. Um, I think he's been coaching for like two years, two, three years. Okay. Yeah. Like he's very well known in space. Like that's why his podcast is pretty big. Um, and uh, like, if you're looking for someone who you can trust, um, you like. I guess that what I want to say is, if you thought there were some major red flags, you wouldn't be on this call with me an hour later. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I personally think based on my experience, based on my conversation with you, based on what you actually want to achieve, which is to what? You want to generate income online. You want it to still give you the flexibility that you need so that you can do the things that you've been now been able to do since you've been semi-retired, mm -hmm. which is hang out with your family, grandkids, uh, grandchildren, uh, and do the things that you want to do while also figuring out the monetization part of it. Um, and you don't have to make millions, but you have to make enough so that you're not having to think about, oh, I'm semi-retired. I'm dipping into my savings. What do I have to do to get back into the game? You know. Yeah. So, the what we want to help you with is we want to give you the guidance. We want to give you the mentorship. We also want to give you the support when you need it. But the most important part, we want to give you like the specific tactical information for you to take action on something. And it's checking all the boxes. So at the. Uh... Have you had have you had anybody at at uh, at that let's say that six to eight month time frame who did what they were supposed to do? Have you have you had people that still fail in, in doing the uh, in doing what they're supposed to do? Um, I personally don't know someone, but. If we did, I'm sure we would have some bad reviews. Um, but that's also like when you quit, you fail. Yeah. You know? 
so here's here's how it works, right? Once we get you started, what's going to happen next is you're actually going to jump on an onboarding call with uh, with one of our fulfillment teams, and you'll spend an hour with them, and they'll get you all set up, uh, give you access to everything, and then you're going to get access to the the coach, and then our team is going to come in and work with you to set up your e-farm. So it's like the the handoff that happens is you're not just thrown into something and like figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, the same level of service that I'm giving you right now is this, it actually gets better because now we're helping you actually start your business. Right. So is that something that we schedule? So the first thing is we like you have to make a decision. Do we? Do you want to start? Do you want to make the payment? So is this something you, you? Yeah. Of course. So the first step is is pay, and then and then yeah. the uh, and then the call. Uh, yeah. After that. And the payment we split into two, so half this month, half the next month. Uh, so this way we're like accountable to the deliverables. And then, when does that start? Say I say I pay, and when when does the uh, when does that start? As far as the that calls, that something that's scheduled, or what do we get? Yeah, I could get it scheduled for you for tomorrow if you're available. And then that that also starts the thirty day. No, no, no. That happens when you actually start working with the. Oh wait, thirty day. Yeah. So once you get access to the the modules and the training, then you start your thirty day challenge and you can start going through the program. And then the next week we'll set you up with the coach, and then you'll also have a meeting with our team. So on the onboarding call, they'll like they'll set up everything that you need, but then they'll also set up the meetings for the next me next week, so you can get the coaching and you can get set up with our uh, fulfillment team to build the farm for you. All right. Well, let me uh, let me do let me do some some more digging uh, before I say yes. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning that way, but let me uh, let me poke around a little bit more in, in this process. And, uh, do I just uh, message you back, or what's that look like? Yeah, um, yeah. You obviously have my phone number. You have my email. Uh, but before you go. Like, what are you, is this something that you feel like is missing still? Or like, are you trying to find some hidden red flag, some, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I guess I, ha I have it that, you know, before I lay that kind of money out, but I, I, I have it, you know, I just looked at some of the testimonials and his, the, you know, the interview of, of him and that and the other, but I, yeah. I, I haven't uh, done any do do. I mean, you mentioned the rating, but I, I haven't looked at that out, outside of what you're showing me. I haven't looked at that or or him or this, you know, mentoring to see yeah. what, as far as that program goes, what that yeah. independently or come across. The, <laughs> I haven't I haven't done any of that due diligence. Yet. Yeah, like. I think like at, at the end of the day, Mark, there's like someone in your position that wants to start a business there for other people, there can be like thousands of reasons for them not to do something. And that's why those people never end up doing it. But it's like the one reason, one or two things that you're trying to achieve that, you know, that other people aren't going to do because of a thousand other reasons. And on this call, we've gone over probably like, 50 to 100 different things, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but it actually shifting the focus from those to the one thing that actually you want to accomplish is the most important thing that gets people to do the risky thing, to make the harder decisions at the end of the day. Um, there's, there's nothing that you're going to find that is going to make you like say, yes, I want to do this now anymore the only thing that you'll end up doing is like get into that place of comfort where comfort doesn't like create action at the end of the day right ultimately it's just the heart right it's the discomfort yeah, yeah yeah and it's great you know if you can get comfortable in the discomfort <laughs> then you know what's going to happen 
especially when you have like a support system, mentorship training around you, someone like Igor that so far, you know, you can trust and you, you, you believe what's coming out of his mouth and hopefully same thing with me, um, you know, in, in this world where everything is online, I very much still, uh, connect with people and, you know, base my judgments off of those, what I'm seeing off of like the con conversations I'm having, as well as my due diligence that I've already, you've already probably done intuition, but again, the discomfort part, if we're going to avoid that, then. No, no, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to change. You said you don't need, there's no team or nothing that this is, uh, I mean, it's not an exponential uh, growth as far as. Uh, yeah, it's a highly. People, uh, underneath. Highly, highly leveraged business utilizing systems. I guess one thing I did come across that I didn't, uh, I haven't researched uh, either, but I kind of came across just in some of the couple things that I was looking at. How, how is this different than uh, something like uh, uh, or is this even relate like prop stream or yeah, some of these other uh, prop prop stream. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff. Yeah, it seems like there's there's a little bit like content stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's either uh, either content or or I guess some of the stuff I I'm looking at with the uh, list sellers or lead lead sellers. It looks like oh yeah, I don't know some of that stuff. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so Legion, no, no. Legion has like different things where there's softwares and platforms out there who can just sell and scrape all of these emails from like the internet. Um, because that's like if you if you're going back to like talking about real estate selling leads to them, you'll find out that realtors are one of the most broke, like the brokest demographics out mm -hmm. there, because like eighty percent are part timers and the people that sell leads to them are also not doing quite well unless you are able to find the ones that are more qualified and actually doing real estate full time yeah. um and lead gen the only way to do lead gen well is for you to be good at advertising on google and facebook and instagram uh, by running effective paid ads because now you're getting leads who are like seeing an ad a video uh, professionally done like the ads that you saw from from us and Igor, um, and then you're driving new leads, not like recycled leads. Yeah. What is it? What is that? Uh, and I guess I assume that's part of the. the trend. He has ads that are already proven or successful. That you know, part of the mentorship program that you're that three to five hundred. You're 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 paying for that, but you're not. A lot of that you're not coming up with the ad yourself you're using the ones that are already proven templated exactly yeah what what uh would you say is the is the average uh time spent daily or, or weekly for uh, to be somewhat successful in this um how much time do you have to put into this i mean i you know i can you know, like i said i i don't i i, I don't i'm not I don't, i'm not other than you know the, you know i play softball i go to the gym other other than that i don't have any, yeah. any uh time so, constraints but i is it you know it, it's not uh you know it's not like you're punching a time time clock yeah. but Exactly. We want to be successful, so I mean, yeah. So, outside of this this initial mentorship and, and yeah. program, uh, I mean, I think it, it began. They said what, a couple hours a day or something. Uh, yeah. Initially, course, yeah. and then ha what does that look like later? Yeah. It sounded so, it sounded like, and that's some of the some of the the things that I saw there. It sounded like you guys are doing it 
on a it's a full time job, and and it didn't seem like they were too successful. Hmm. So here's here's what I say, right? Like Igor, the first thirty days, we just say you need to spend thirty minutes a day. Yeah. On the on the training, but here's what I here's what I say, like. Your goal is to get you income, a reasonable amount of income, five to ten k a month. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have the flexibility to do what you need to do and want to do with health, fitness, family. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like if you want to be the most competent person in any business and actually like successful, you'll do what what you have to do, which is become the most competent. And that's by studying whatever Igor is telling you to do and then implementing it uh, and then doing more and then more. Because uh, otherwise, like, okay, cool, you can go on vacation and travel, but for how long can you do that until you get bored? Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, it's not a, obviously it's not a full-time gig. It's not eight hours a day, nine to five. Uh, but ideally, you get to a point where you can spend more hours doing activities in this business because ultimately it's for you to grow and get a return on it. But if you look at Igor, uh, the, like he has a family, he has two businesses, he does the coaching, and he has his own personal brand, and he has his e-farm. Like you want to get busy, but you get busy because it's making you money. For for you, like, you know, you know, you're going through a, a buyout. Um, you're semi-retired. Uh, for you, like, getting a business up and off the ground, and let's say it happens in uh, like six months, from where from what where you are today to to that point, like, what what will actually change in your day to day? I know you you've kind of been researching for the past few months, but like, once you get to that point, what actually changes for you? Uh, I, I just a, a, a focus on you know. Well, I'll dedicate a certain yeah part of the day to, to working on that. So yeah, yeah, mm. and yeah, you know, some days you know could be more than others. You know, I, mm. but but it just I think I I think that's you know I'm looking for flexibility in the sense that you know. But I'm, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you know yeah I, you know I don't have a you know, I can only spend a half hour a day on something so, yeah yeah that that's not yeah that's not the case yeah. when I, when I do it exactly is, is you know and, and it doesn't it's, sound like this it doesn't it, you know it doesn't you're not tied to a timeline right so it doesn't it doesn't matter whether I'm doing this at at ten yeah. evening or at uh, in the middle of the afternoon or in the evening, right? It doesn't. Yeah. Is, are there are there time sensitive issues that go on with these, whether these campaigns or promotions or whatever you're calling them? Are there mm. are there I guess are there deadlines or or timelines that you, that you got to be you got to be in front of the computer? You got to be doing this or that or sometimes yeah like with everything right if like it's an urgent promotion and it came uh came last minute something that you want to do and it's like a timed event then yeah of course but no uh, obviously i get i get what you're saying you 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 said like focus and it reminded me of something like in the past when i remember like when i decided to marry my wife <laughs> what one of the things i said was like oh now i don't have to think about who to marry anymore <laughs> yeah you're right yeah yeah. You know, so it's like that time, mental mind, like that thought process was now focused because, mm -hmm. hey, I've made my one decision yeah. and now I'm focused and it made me like focus on other things in my life. Um, I'm guessing being semi-retired could kind of be like that too, where you, know, you had something that you spent time on doing. Yes, you have extra time now, which is great, which gives you flexibility. But there's times in the day where you're like, yo, I want to be productive again. I want to do things for me and my family. Uh, that makes me feel valuable, but also like it's like we're providers, you know, you still want to do that. Yeah. Is that, is that like a big part of it? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I, yeah. Been retired for a, a while now. And I've, yeah, mm. I still have another 
nine years on this buyout. So I'm to the point where, you know, yeah, you know, I, I know that, you know, it's coming, that part is coming to an end and I want to, I want to do something, but also still yeah. will have, have freedom uh, to do the few things that I, <laughs> that I, you know, that yeah. are extracurricular that I've got, that, mm. that I do, but. So, so, so the last minute. So when these, when these, you know, you say last minute promotion thing comes up, how much notice do you have on that? Uh, well, that that's like I'm just saying, like a very particular instance, mm -hmm. um, which probably won't happen. But I'm like, because I've experienced a lot of different things, I know that can happen. Um, like if a promotion is happening on August 29th seven days from now typically a promotion campaign runs for seven days yeah and so if, you know if you find out on the day that the promotion starts okay you and you want to promote it then you'll run to your desk and set it all up and make sure it's all connected yeah yeah <laughs> so it's like a very specific instance okay but once you set it up it's not like you got it you don't have to sit there and you're not you're, oh, you're not. Once it's set up, it's done. Once the button's <laughs> pushed, you're, yeah, all right, let's see how much money I make. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 So, to your knowledge, you haven't seen any, any, uh, negative uh ratings on this mentorship program it was we got a, what a four point did you say six nine out of four point nine out of five four point nine so there's no you're not aware of of any uh like there's there can be like if it's 99 to one and you want to look at the one percent yeah we we probably did a bad job <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know so. so it's your fault it's your fault <laughs> hey it probably wasn't me <laughs> but sure i'll take the place <laughs> yeah um, so the uh uh what what form of payment are you uh, required? You said half and then the other half next month. Yeah, card, credit card, debit card. And the flatten you said would be fifteen, right? Fifteen. So twenty five or seventy five hundred this month and the next. And then the next. Yeah. All right. All right let me go grab let me go grab a okay. card. 